All right, I'm tired of this shit. Every time you open your phone, you get on social media, all you see is highlights. All you see is wins and all you see is flexing. And we've got into a culture where you have to be very careful with how much you involve yourself in this type of content that's quote unquote inspirational. Because when you get to a certain point, when you are only seeing wins and you're not seeing any process behind whoever it is that you're following, you're now being entertained. One thing that's so powerful about stunt writing, this was before what social media is now, is that you can't fake this. You can either ride or you can't. But now we're in an age where people are faking all these things on social media. They're faking these results and it's making people insecure. And that's where I'm getting at. It's like you go on the Internet and you feel like you have motion and then you looking at somebody else. And then all of a sudden you start feeling down about yourself or you start looking at what somebody else is doing. You drop what you're doing to do what they're doing because it looks like they're doing better than you or you'll talk yourself into doing something you don't even want to do because you think it's a good idea because it's constantly being thrown in your face. And today I really just want to show you guys the process and I'm going to show you raw, real videos that I don't feel like is being shown right now and true transparency. And I believe that I've built my brand on the grind. And one thing that I promised myself and, and I made a post about this a long time ago on my Instagram that I promise I would always show the grind. I would always show the gritty shit. I would always show what was going on behind the scenes. And that's what I'm going to do for you guys right now. Um, like I said, I think, you know, as a creator myself, I can understand um, why other creators do this because you get to the point where you do get good at your thing and then you're at a certain level. So you only post the level that you're at, right? Which, which I think is okay because we all get in a routine of it. But I think in order to serve people, in order to serve your audience, and this is just me coming from a creator to a creator, if you're sitting on the other side of this, is you got to show the progress. Why? Because the progress is inspirational. I think the skill set can be inspirational, but most of the time, the skill set is just entertainment. Think about it. You think at pro sports, like all these things, but when people are really attracted to a player or um, you know a, a story, it's because there's an immense amount of progress, right? They weren't good. They're the underdog and then they come out on top. So I'm going to show you two things right here. And it's the very first video I ever edited. And I'm going to show you a recent video. I'm going to show you this is 12 years almost of, of grind. I have been doing both of these things, writing and editing videos for almost 12 years. So you think about how long people try something right now, and it's not a very long time. Most people get into something, and if they don't see results, oh, I'm going to give it six months to a year, and they're done. Like, imagine I had did that, and I had spoke about this not that long ago. I didn't get my first sponsor for, for almost seven years, I think it was, or eight years. Like, that's such a long time to eat the concrete and never get paid to do it. Go in debt. Go to jail. And then wait that long to get a hundred and fifty dollar handbrake. That's that's a long time. People aren't doing that right now, right? And in videography, right? I didn't get my first really great opportunity, which I spoke about in the last video in 2018 working at Icon. That's 2013. That's five years. I found the first video I ever made, and then I'm also gonna show you. I have a video of the very first day that I ever rode the lot and try to do a control the wheelie. So, so I'm just going to start with the very first edit I ever made here. This has no sound. I don't know why Instagram took the sound off, but What was that? The reverse. Why? Okay. That was the very first edit I ever made in 2014. Now, let's look at a recent edit.
I mean, everything about that is just better. I mean, this obviously there's no comparison, right? And I've made a bunch of other edits. Um, obviously you guys have seen in the last 10 years on my Instagram, I've been posting videos for 10 years, right? But somebody might come to my page and they might see the edit that I just showed you, but they're like, oh, maybe he's always been good at that. Oh, he just has a gift. You know, he, he's just, he's just so talented, but it's like, no, nah, I worked for that. And I just showed you how much I worked for that. And now I'm doing videography full time within my own business. So, you know, this is a 12 year process and I could have done so much better in so many different ways. Um, especially with, with the videography stuff and starting my business. I mean, I made my first six figures in one year of business, right? But it took me 10 years to have that one year. And, and that's a whole nother story for a different day. But, um, I just want to show you guys the progression, the start and the finish. And then I'm going to show you a video of me the first day, I, like I said, I ever tried to do a controlled wheelie. That's literally day one. And this is last year. Okay, listen, why did I show you that? Because what I want you guys to understand is that, like I said, everybody starts at zero. All these people you're looking up to and you get insecure around and you, you get all these limiting beliefs and, and you get so focused on the idea that, oh, I'm never going to be like that. It's like everybody great that actually did something. And remember, you, you see all these kinds of like uh, nefarious activity on social media. But if you know somebody and, but you see all these kinds of fugazi stuff on social media, but if you know somebody, if you know, they're truly about what they're doing, everybody started at zero. Everybody was the rookie. Everybody was the new guy. It's the people that refuse to quit regardless of what happens on the journey, right? I mean, you guys have heard my story so many times. I'm literally the worst rider in the area. Six months to learn how to wheelie, the longest of anybody that I know specifically, okay? Not only after that, T-bone the car, go to jail, go to the hospital, sit out for a whole entire year after only being in the game for two years, get back on the bike, still ate the concrete, and it wasn't until three years after that that I got my first sponsor. I mean, most of the time, what you fail to understand is that you can get exactly where you want to go, but you have to stop quitting. You have to stop stopping. It's so much easier to just push through. I'm telling you, I know it seems like this is impossible, but it's so much easier just to push through what you're going through than to stop hanging up and then decide you want to start again because you're itching or you can't get that thing off your mind. Stop stopping. This is a mistake I made in my business for a long time. Like I said, I fully committed to my business. In my first year, I made six figures. But it took me 10 years to do that. Limiting beliefs, excuses, oh, this gets in the way. Oh, it's not secure. Oh, but I'm already making six figures at my job. Uh, it's just too risky. All this other bullshit. But I fully committed. And in, in the first year, I made six figures. Like, and in videography. I started with that edit that I just showed you. Most people would say, if I go to post that on Instagram and I'm comparing myself to everybody around me, I'm going to literally quit after that edit. What? Like, no, there's no way I'm, I'm, I can never be that good. Step away from comparing yourself. Step away from the idea of comparison. Comparison is a thief of joy. You have to stop comparing yourself to other people. You're in your own race. You're playing your own game. We get too caught up in this idea 
of competing against people when most people don't understand your competition is not other people. Your competition is your potential. I still don't even like the idea when people say that it's you versus you. I don't like that. It's you versus the idea of squeezing all the potential out of yourself. And then whoever you're quote unquote competing against this other person, most people are not going to squeeze every ounce of potential out of themselves. So instead of looking at the next man next to you, if I was doing this with my videography or if I was doing this with my writing, I just looked in the mirror. I know I can be great. I know that I can do this. I know I can be who I want to be. So the fight is not against the guy. The fight is not against the next man. The fight is against your belief. When you believe, you act. Very simply. If I fully believe in this thing, 100% committed, there's no possible way that I'm ever going to give up or ever going to quit. And even if I do run into something, I'm going to plow through it. You just do everything necessary. When you don't believe, you do not act. You're going to get to a point where you're going to have a trial. You're going to have something going on. There's going to be a speed bump. There's going to be a hiccup. And if you don't believe in it, you just, you just pack it up. You throw in the towel. So do me a favor. Take your focus away from social media, from everybody else, and put that focus into the person in the mirror. Commit. Stop stopping. Stop quitting. And go all in.